A lot of people are saying, and it's happened with BH, it's happened with Southern Charm now, which is also fantastic because we're going to deep dive into Southern Charm as well. But they're drawing these these parallels, right? And they're now coining like, oh, Mauricio and Kyle and Austin and Taylor on Southern Charm. Everyone's trying to get their Scandaval moment. Number one. <laughs> like, Scandaval was crazy, right? It was the perfect storm. But this shit happens. Mm-hmm. I've always said it. When, when you have people who get comfortable in relationships friendships and then you add alcohol like it's just easier to fuck Mm -hmm. you know like Scandaval was not it it was the perfect storm on how it was happening but it wasn't some like I think it was so this has never happened ever I mean I've had this happen in my in my family where I won't out anyone but someone had a best friend and the woman was confiding in her best friend about her husband cheating and he was cheating with this woman. And they're still together. The friend. It's wild. It's Wait, wild. And this is this... in my family. Okay. So the the one he cheated <clears throat> on her with, they're still together. Uh, Scandaval, yes. Yeah. Got it. I think I think Scandaval is so, like, intriguing because you can go back, back and, and watch. Back and watch. And that's why it's like, uh, now it's like you can put, it's almost like a TV, I mean, obviously, but it's like a, it was a scripted show. And now you're going back and like mm-hmm. watching it and like, oh my gosh, they touched a little. How did I not see that? Right. So I think the that's Easter why eggs people su- are calling yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Perfect so that's what it. I mean. Is Scandaval was so mind blowing because of that aspect of things. And it happened while our show was only mid season. So you knew the outcome and then got to watch with us all of these. Crazy moments of us putting things together and not really knowing if it was real or not and then it coming out. So it was the perfect storm. However, people on the internet are so crazy that they think that all of these shows, even even Carl and Lindsay Lindsay. from uh, Winter or Summer House, everyone's saying all these other shows are trying to get their Scandaval moment. You guys, people cheat, people break up. Scandaval was not the first and it certainly will not be the last. But also I saw... That people are saying Kyle's interview look, where she's in red, her first one, red cutouts, that she's trying to lean further into her Scandaval moment. And that's where I'm like, okay, you guys, we, we got to stop. Yeah. We got to stop. Ariana didn't invent the red cutout dress. She certainly did not invent the the cheating, being cheated on. All right? Yeah. Like, at some point, we got to reel it in. I mean, I, even when I went to Vanderpump Dogs Gala and wore that cutout dress, everyone was like... You're trying to copy Ariana. Actually, that was my reunion dress look. And I wasn't able to wear it anymore. I know. That's actually what really happened. And I just had the dress and was like, where the fuck am I ever going to wear this? So I guess to is. the gala. Mm-hmm. When am I sp- supposed to wear it to the Brent Shapiro Foundation? <laughs> Tits out. No! <laughs> like, literally. It's so crazy <laughs> to, to see people online go so wild over like... You're trying to recreate something. You're trying to you're trying to recreate Scandaval off of a fucking interview look with some cutouts. Like no one's ever worn cutout cut out anything before a Scandaval. <laughs> Am I have I gone mad? No. No, it's have not. I no. gone insane? <laughs> the story Someone please made me tell yawn. me. No, the story made me yawn of how crazy people are. People? You're not crazy. I yawned <laughs> over it. Trying, yeah. No. Aye, aye, aye. no. Jessica's looking at me like, shut the fuck up. You're going to no. get <laughs> no, written she's, about. No, she's mind numbed from the story as well of these people yeah. and I'm yawning. No, but I really. Don't think, no, you're not crazy. No. I think people like to stretch for stuff. What? And it's just. The stretching. The elastigirling yeah. to these <laughs> assumptions. Reaching. Oh, the my God. The reaching is beyond. I was balls deep in Southern Charm this weekend. Okay, so I need to watch Southern Charm because I've heard forever it's so good. I do like it. You do? I just so she told me she was like, "Hey, can fantastic!" You, just so we can talk about it. So I watched two episodes, just to have an idea. Yeah. FYI, don't know names yet. Okay. Getting there. Okay. Makes making sense. Making my yeah, making Makes my cheat sense. seat, but I okay. actually really really enjoy it. Really? Yeah. yeah, the people are, like, I like all of the, the cast. Like, really? All of the, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm going to watch. I don't know why I'm acting shocked. I've heard it's fantastic. Yeah. Okay, so everyone is saying that this storyline that's going on. So we have Shep, who was dating 
um, Taylor. Okay. We have Austin. Are you making who is a dating Olivia? A we diagram. should put a whiteboard. These I know guys, we really should. Besties, these girls, besties. All right. Do you see this? These two are together. 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 Do you Over see that. it on here? Yes. Okay. Do you see how it's working? Yeah. They break up. Taylor, who's a Bible bumper, mm. <laughs> hooks up with Austin, her ex's best friend and her best friend's ex. Okay? Mm -hmm. They claim they didn't have sex. They've been lying about kissing for a while now. Mm. If you, I'm sorry, but at this age... Taylor, if you kiss, you, you fuck. You smashed. You smashed. Yeah. Taylor, the Bible bumper, also sent a nude picture <laughs> to Shep's other friend, Whitney, whose mom is fabulous. Who was the one who spilt the tea, right? Who's the one, yeah. And the <laughs> reason we know that Whitney got a nude picture from Bible bump and Taylor is because um, Whitney's fabulous southern mother Spilled that tea and she goes, and then there's the nude photograph that I guess we're not talking about. Oh. <laughs> and Taylor tries to tell Shep because Shep calls her on it and says, you sent a nude picture. He goes, she goes, you couldn't see anything. It's dark. Couldn't see anything. They sit down at the table. Shep says, um, we squashed it. Taylor's like, yeah, everyone, you couldn't see anything that I sent to Whitney. That did happen, but you couldn't see anything. My girl fucking Madison LaCroix, hot as fuck, goes, I saw your tits and your vagina. <laughs> and she's like this. Bible bumper's like, fuck. <laughs> you guys, this season's fucking awesome. Oh, I need to watch. They brought in I'm, 2 I'm, million views yeah. a couple weeks ago. Wow. Amazing. Yeah. Everyone, again, is saying, oh, it's a, they're trying to repeat Scandaval. Let me tell you something. If you go back, if you go back on a Madison LaCroix's Instagram, they had a day chaser, which is Taylor's booze company that she's trying to promote. It's not hers, but she's promoting it. They go to a day chaser party. Madison has on, the theme was like skier. She has on a black headband, cute sunglasses, black little jacket. Okay, if you go back on her Instagram, when this was already very much a storyline, this was episode five, that was filmed. She took a picture, posted it on IG in January. Okay, mm -hmm. that was well before Scandaval even broke. This was their storyline. And if they had been, if this was episode five, that means they had been filming for five weeks, give or take. That would have put us at the end of November, give or take. This was happening this was going to be their story, whether Scandaval happened or not. Yeah. Okay? It's actually really shitty that the way it works yeah, out. That right? Didn't hit first. <laughs> right. Right. Because <laughs> these people would be on Dancing with the fucking Stars <laughs> right now. All right? This season's fucking good. Mm. I can't get enough of it. I really can't. Thank you guys so much for watching another episode of the Give Them Lala podcast. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and I will catch you next week.